Alright, so this is going to be a review on my Porsche design, Porsche design, PD1 Burgundy Electro Quartz Lighter. Very fancy lighter. It's, um, it's a, it's a butane lighter, which means it has a blue flame. Let me, I can find something black for comparison. Or not comparison, so you can see the flames a little better. It's a jet blue flame. Um, the lighter, it comes with four hexagonal screws on each side. Um, it the the lighter has a modern quartz controlled ignition, which I wonder if you can see, but uh, you can't really see. But the click you hear, that's the spark coming out, and that's coming from the quartz inside. So that's how it ignites. And the uh, small window on the side right here. It shows the the amount of fuel or butane left in your lighter. It's very easy access because you just look in there. Um, the, I mean, uh, let me compare the size to like a big lighter. It's pretty small. It's thinner than a big lighter. It easily fits in your pocket. It's it'll, it'll serve you serve you well as a cigar lighter as well as you know any other like fire <laughs> purposes. Um, the engraving here says Porsche design. And here as well says Porsche design. Germany. Because Porsche is made in Germany. Um, there's a, this sort of switch right here, or more like a dial. It says plus minus when you when you screw it to the left side, which is a plus, it makes the flame bigger. When you tilt it towards the left, I mean right, which is a minus, it gets the flame smaller. So again, easy access. Very reliable lighter. You could use this in the wind. And the thing I like about butane lighters more than Zippo lighters, well, I, perf um, I collect Zippo lighters, so I kind of like Zippos better, but the thing I like about butane lighters is that they don't smell, and the, the the butane doesn't evaporate, so you could keep this in your pocket for a long time and um, and use it as you want. But Zippo lighters, if you keep it in your pocket for like a week or so, the the fuel actually evaporates. So um, that, that's that's one thing. I mean, Zippos are cool, but sometimes it's better to have a butane lighter because one, it doesn't smell, and you don't have to refuel the thing as often. Anyways, uh, whoops, there goes the tripod. Um, here, let me get stable. All right. So this this material, the thing it's made out of, is called trogamid. And I did a little bit of my research, and trogamid is a compound that is crystal clear. Um, well, it, obviously this is not, but I'm reading it from their product. Um description or whatever. Uh, it's high level of UV resistance, low water absorption, um, high dimensional stability, balanced mechanical property profile, high impact resistance even at low temperatures, high level of um, dynamic strength for internally pressurized parts, of abrasion and scratch resistance, which is a obvious lie because this came with scratches. I actually found this thing in the, in the streets. I, I happened to find this. I didn't know what it was at then, but um, as time went on, I did my research. I f refueled the thing. It worked perfectly, so I just kept the thing. So I don't have the box for this, which would have been cool if I did. But still really cool lighter. Everyone's jealous because I have a $150 lighter. Although, speaking of which, um, the retail that, like a... Um, hundred forty ish, but on Amazon you can buy for like ninety bucks. If you really want it, you know, just look at Amazon. They always have good lighters. So I, I also buy Zippos on Amazon as well because it comes cheap. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about the material. It's really durable. Feels really nice. Um, the color, if you can see, is like a a brownish red. And it comes with various colors like black, silver, et cetera, et cetera. I think it also came with green. I'm, I don't know. Just look at Amazon. So I think.
think that's oh um tank capacity it holds 1.1 milliliters which if I can do the conversion right now on my Mac it is um volume Damn, whatever. Anyways, it's 1.1 milliliter. Holds, um, it holds a decent amount, but then at the same time, it's a butane lighter, and like that, the jet fuel, it, it, um, it needs a lot of butane for for that kind of flame. So it can run out quickly. Just make sure you control the flame so you don't use too much. So um, I think that's pretty much it. So that was my review for the Porsche design PD1 Burgundy Electro Quartz Lighter. I give it a a 4.5 out of 5. Well, I mean for the price for like say, say I bought this for 90 bucks, I, I I feel like I could buy like multiple like decent lighters, you know, like more lighters than this. Like I could use this as a primary lighter, but still um I I want to collect stuff, so I mean, it's a pretty good, pretty cool addition to my collection. But still, for I feel like it's kind of overpriced, you know, like fifty dollar range maybe. Oh, um, still a good lighter. Anyways, thanks for watching.